FOMO 3D went down. Um, FOMO 3D went down last night, uh, and there was a couple of announcements in the Discord about it. It's not a big deal. I woke up this morning. There are two back. If something happens to FOMO 3D, there is a backup, just like P3D. There's a the website is just an interface with the blockchain. Like the just because the website's down doesn't mean anything happened to the blockchain, but it can affect volume because less people know how to access the backup site. Um, I'm going to actually put a link down below for the backup site because I know some people watching my channel. You're you come here because you're searching thing like you're, you're searching things like FOMO 3D, FOMO 3D strategy, or maybe today you searched FOMO 3D went down or you know whatever. Um, but and FOMO 3D did go down, but it's just the website, the blockchain. I don't think there's there's not any known way to take down a blockchain. So that doesn't. I mean, if you need to understand the technology of blockchain. However, um, I'm not actually. I just logged into MetaMask, but I haven't actually. I got here before I logged in, so nothing's here. So I've, I'm gonna look at my earnings, but I'm waiting to. I was waiting to record the video just to kind of see it live. What yesterday, nearly the entire day, it, it was crazy. Like it was epic, epic. Uh, the I was I was seeing about a ten percent return, if that's a way of saying it. Um, on the keys that I had basically bought, or the, the Ethereum that I had spent for the keys that I had bought, um, that's about what I was earning. Now, the risk is when you reinvest, when you buy keys, you never get these these keys back. Um, but you have more, and so when someone get, wins a jackpot, keep in mind, this jackpot's up to $8.4 million right now. This thing, I think, is going for a long time. Um, but we shall see. So when someone, when you buy keys, you continue to earn rewards on everyone who buys a key after you. Um, but the goal is to really be the last person to buy the key. Last person to buy a key when the timer runs out. Every time you buy a key, you add time back to the timer. So the last person to buy a key when the timer runs out is going to win the the entire pot so it's a bit like if you're familiar with penny auctions it's kind of like a penny auction lottery really and truly um but for every key that you buy you earn rewards or a small amount from everyone who buys keys after you and so let's take a look i'm just going to refresh this page and kind of see where i'm at ethereum's coming into contract pretty good when i started this video just before i hit the record button it was eighteen thousand four. 444 and then we're at 71 three thousand dollars is what I've earned overnight essentially um, that's that's kind of crazy um, wow I, I will tell you I, I did think that it might be more than that. I was thinking it might be as much as five or ten thousand and I'll tell you why just because of how much fast we were earning it yesterday um, but it being the weekend, probably the website being down, FOMO 3D being down, or the website for FOMO 3D being down. Because um, the website, the, the FOMO 3D website was down, but it's just the, again, it's just the UI or just the interface. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually reinvest this. Oh, purchase. Do, do, do. i got to wake up this morning. So the price of keys are going up super fast half a ethereum for all those keys for 100 keys it used to be nothing it's going up super fast uh, let's see six but to put this in perspective my own personal money that I put in the game was about twelve hundred dollars and i've only pulled out about a thousand so just to put that into perspective for you There we go. So that that'll go through here momentarily. So here's my really my kind of expectations on the game. Hang on. I gotta get some more keys. I wasn't even thinking that through. Hang on. 303. Let me jot that down. I was looking at my dollar amount. I gotta get some more keys. 
because that's in Ethereum. So we'll basically let me just refresh. I'll wait for that transaction to go through. I was paying attention to my dollar amount and I wasn't paying attention to the key price. So, so I could have got 1200 keys. So let's do 600 again. You can get a little more than that. It's 10. Three point five four, three point five nine. That's too many. There we go. We'll do that. Okay, we'll do that. Use vault. I'm, I just up the gas a little bit to make it go through a little bit faster. All right. By the way, if you want to check out FOMO 3D, I'll put a link down below. But no one should be playing FOMO 3D if you don't reasonably understand the blockchain without first understanding the game. You can come here. Go to miscellaneous, read the wiki right here. Don't just start playing the game. That's the last thing you need to do. Um, yes, it's cool. Yes, it's fascinating. Yes, it's interesting. Um, but yes, it's a game of chance. But yes, it's designed to play on your greed. But don't get crazy. Don't be getting out of hand. Um, understand there is a real risk. I mean, here's the thing. If the, if, if the website goes down because of any re number of reasons. And one of the reasons that when you, you'll see things like the FOMO 3D website go down or the P3D website go down, when that happens, it can happen from heavy traffic, it can happen from a DDoS attack, the whole nine yards. But again, that's just the interface. But that's enough to slow down people. Like last night, th the volume is a little bit lower, either because, it most, it most likely, either because the website went down. Now granted, we still had another 6,000 Ethereum go in. Um, so it ain't but so slow, but it, it, it slowed down either because the website slowed down or it slowed down. I mean, because sorry, the web, the FOMO 3D website was down or um, it may be because it's the weekend. So the, the weekend things typically slow down on the weekend. So it's really hard to say. Um, however, if the website stayed down for an extended period of time, that's going to cause less people to buy. That actually could allow this timer to run out. Um, and, and when the timer runs out, if it was down for an extended period of time and it wasn't enough people that knew how to use the blockchain, it's a, I mean, the game is over with. There's a winner. People say, how do you, how can you lose money on this game by not pulling anything out? I mean, I literally have probably gotten, you know, if, if I was a calculated, I probably got, that's, that's why I was writing down the Ethereum I was putting in. I just look at what I'm reinvesting. I've probably have reinvested 20 plus Ethereum so far. Well, if you did the math on that, that's over $10,000, maybe $15,000 even worth of Ethereum that I reinvested. I only put out a thousand. So if it was the end of day, now I look at this a little bit different than some people. I don't look at this like I lost, you know, 20 Ethereum because the reality is I would have never earned that much Ethereum had I not been continuing to reinvest. So when I reinvest something, I see it for, as buying these keys. I see it as like buying a little asset or whatever that's earning me a little bit of rewards in the game. But this asset is disposable. Once this game's over, this is gone, totally. So you're basically left with your rewards. Now, some people say the game's not gonna end. I don't know, that I think it will end because I think the game will eventually drive the price of Ethereum up. So just by playing the game, holding Ethereum, getting paid in Ethereum, all that's big, big, big pluses. Um, I haven't even checked the price of Ethereum yet this morning. So it, it is absolutely a game of risk, um, but it's a lot of fun. It's a game game of chance. It's on the blockchain. It's revolutionary. It's really fascinating. Um, yesterday was mind-blowing. Like, it was almost scary mind-blowing. Someone posted in my video coming yesterday and said, you look scared. Yeah, it was almost scary mind-blowing. Uh, let's take a look at... Uh, while we're here, let's take a look at P3D. 
So yesterday, P3D and uh, I mean, it's like the Asia market started finding out about it and it just went nuts. So first of all, let's look at the chart yesterday. The chart was good anyway, but the yesterday's chart is crazy. So this is the one hour chart. So it's, it's here's what's happened, by the way. This is cranking in the past hour. So the, the site being down definitely played a factor. So let's look at the four hour chart. Look at this six hour chart. The, yesterday was just epic. So this was yesterday. This is today. So today's being pretty epic as well. Wow, this is going to be a very incredible day. 81% in 24 hours. That Wow. Wow. This is P3D balance. Holy wow. I've not even checked my... Wow. So when I went to bed last night, the P3D balance I think was around 20,000. Well, just over 20,000. Wow. It went up 81%. Wow, this is so exciting. Now, this is a just a tradable token, by the way. P3D, I mean, they call it a game too, but it's more of a tradable token. So let's go back. Wow, I'm not even logged into my account. I'm going to do that right now. I was getting one to two tokens a day on a normal day before the FOMO 3D to game came out. The game actually, for every key purchase, a percentage of, of every key purchase just so you know, goes back to a small percentage, goes back to P3D as uh, rewards. And this website's going to be running slow. It was probably down too yesterday if I had to guess. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe that's why I just went so crazy. I could use the backup site. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna use the backup site. Okay, I actually don't have the backup site handy. I have to look for it. I've got it saved somewhere on my computer. So here's what's crazy. It's only half of ETH, but this is seven, 17 tokens over nine, 18. Look how fast it's coming in. And so basically the way P3D works, every time someone buys or sells P3D, there's a 10% fee and that 10% fee goes back to all of the token holders. So as people are buying P3D, you're earning basically rewards just for holding it. So I have 8 Ethereum, 3,800. 3, so now this is where you buy keys in the game and you can't sell them or whatever. The keys aren't really, a, they're not a token at all. This is more of a, a token. So I, you can buy and sell keys, the price of key, the, I mean, you can buy and sell to, P3D tokens, the price of the token goes up. The whole nine yards. So you, I can liquidate this account if I wanted to. Um, but this is exciting stuff. I mean, this account has more than doubled um, in, the, in the past couple of days. I mean, I was sitting at twelve hundred dollars, twelve hundred USD value, and now I'm up to thirty eight hundred, eight point four Ethereum, three hundred and twenty four tokens. I started out at just over. I think yesterday morning I was at two hundred and thirty tokens, um, and I just kept buying more and reinvesting. So that that's I mean listen, this is what people like in the crypto space. It's fascinating. We're gonna reinvest this. I will put the backup. I will look for the backup links and put them if I can find the one for P3D. I'll put the backup links for both uh, FOMO 3D and P3D down in the link uh, down in the description below. But I just want to give you a quick update this morning. Um, we'll see what the weekend holds. I mean, I'm, I'm suspecting things slow down over the weekend, but we'll see. You know, I know what the weekend holds. Let's see uh, the video since I've done my. Let's see if, what I've earned since uh, since I've been here. Waking up for three thousand dollars isn't half bad. Just so you know, twenty eight dollars. So that's again, that's not that's not nothing to sneeze at. That's pretty pretty incredible. Um, I, I was. I said in my video yesterday I was going to pull out some money to have ready for the short uh, FOMO 3D, the short version of this game where the timer is going to be shorter. I think it's 90 seconds. 
and the prices of the keys go up even faster. The idea is you end up with smaller jackpots, but you have games that don't last weeks and months. And this game could last weeks or months. Um, that's kind of the idea of the short version. And I'm, I'm saving up. I don't know how I'm going to play that game. I don't know if I'm going to, you know, buy as many keys uh, from earnings or what I'm going to do. But I'm going to definitely start the game with two or three ETH. I don't know. Um, so I'll probably pull out some more money today and sit on the sidelines. I had some yesterday and I made a mistake. I kept coming down here. I came down here to buy keys and I kept clicking send ETH. And I was checking. I was like, why didn't that go? Th-? You know, I would check and why didn't that go through? And then all of a sudden it hit me. Wait a minute. Check your MetaMask. Ah, oh, you're using the wrong button. Use Vault to use earnings um, when you're buying keys. So you got to be mindful of that. So it wasn't a big deal. I could have pulled out and I thought, you know what? It's okay. I think this. I think I'm safe for now. I'll pull out a little bit later. And I ended up pulling out a thousand dollars later in the day. So that's what I have. A thousand dollars worth of Ethereum, not a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars worth of Ethereum, two point two. Um, and I may end up pulling out a little bit more. Look, thirty four already. So this this is crazy stuff, absolutely insanity. Thank you so much for watching. You can join the game if you want to. That's your call. That's your risk. Don't follow my advice. People have messaged me in Discord asking for advice. I block people. If you ask me for personal advice on how to play a game of chance, like I, that's that is not my call. That is not my place to give you personal advice. I mean, if you ask for advice, my thing is if you've got to ask me if you should buy more keys or if you should withdraw. My thing is, you shouldn't even be playing. You should withdraw and get out of the game. That's my call. I mean, I'm not giving anyone personal advice on what to do with their money, especially when it comes to playing something like this, a game of chance. But I'm not a financial advisor, and I'm definitely not a gambling guru of any kind. So with that being said, have a great day. Make it a great win. And if you're playing, mind those divvies.